Whoa, wa watch out. This is Look a... at all of those chickens. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, let's start again. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 watch out. It's the McBee Banquet Thank Spooptacular. Oh, sorry, I messed it up. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Dude, I thought you were going to say podcast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, go back, go back, go back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the McBee <laughs> Banquet Spooptacular podcast. Podcast. Spooky! Watch out, because... It's gonna be... Spoopy! Spoopy! That's good, right? That wasn't me doing a voice, <laughs> I, was just, I just had constipation. Anyways. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. Wow. Cool. Warning. This podcast may contain spoilers for film. And television. And it will also contain explicit content. Fuck yeah! What's up? Who are you talking to? Uh, our fans. Our, oh. our adoring fans. What's up? Our adoring electric cooling fans. Oh yeah, they're pretty electric. And, and cool. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear you texting. I'm not texting. What are you talking about? Welcome to the McBeef Banquet Podcast. My I'm Miles. Miles. And uh, this is this is Henry. Oh, yeah, that's true. He's he's both of us. I'm I'm the guest. <laughs> the guest from our our short film. Yeah, I'm the I'm the guest. I'm the guy who walks into your home and and murders me. Maybe spoiler alert, dude. Some people haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> what? No way. Really? I'd be surprised because it's such a good film. It is. Like, it's the best in the freaking business. Biznasty. Biznasty. Okay, okay, maybe we should start, actually. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Um, so this week, we watched a movie called Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yeah. Which and... is just a movie about me and Miles, but in space. You see yeah. what I did there? I called this Clowns. Killer clowns, because killer we clowns, because we kill the competition, because we kill it physically. Oh, yeah. yeah, that too. Um, it was made in nineteen eighty eight. Really? Um, directed was it by made in nineteen eighty eight, or was it released in nineteen eighty eight, or both? Yeah. Um, directed by Steven Chiodo. <laughs> um, I I don't know. I think it was. Released in 1988. Yes. Yes. That is the case. Mm-hmm. That's it all was, I got. What would you would you think, Miles? What you would you like about it? What you hate about it? Quit um, uh, quit clowning around, as they say, <laughs> and get to the point. <clears throat> well, I I enjoyed it very much. Much as I did, watch, I think I enjoyed it the second time much more than I enjoyed it the first time I watched it. Um, just because I kind of recognize more of like the creativity and the and like the the tenderness that went into making the film. Yeah, um, um, I enjoyed it much more the first time than I did uh, the time I didn't see it. Um, because I think it was just it was it was a lot more creative. The time before watching the movie was just not as good as the time after I watched the movie. <laughs> Fuck all my previous experiences in life. Before this movie, my life was shit. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very creative. And uh, 
very i thought it was pretty impressive considering the time it was made mm-hmm. not that effects were the worst at that point i mean you had some good stuff but you know i thought it was it was pretty good um i really enjoyed all the gimmicks that they did for it in terms of what the clowns could do i my favorite part was the popcorn <laughs> mm-hmm. i think or there was that i think that part where um where um what's the police guy's name um which one dave Dave, I think. When he, yeah, when he's calling the his or the his partner or whatever, the guy at the station, and he's like, um, <laughs> and then the guy just uh, calls him the son of a bitch at the end. I just think that, <laughs> I don't know why. But I thought that part was really funny, <laughs> the way just the way he said it. Yeah, I'm trying to remember like one of my favorite lines from the movie. Um, I think it's like you're not gonna make a dummy out of me. I just yeah, love that I I love that part. Um, like, do you know like why that was so important for him to say that? Say again. Do you know why it was so important for um, the cop to say, "Don't make you're not going to make a dummy out of me"? No, why? Because later in the film, he he gets made into a dummy. What? I never saw that coming. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> the paint that they put on his face <laughs> was really. Yeah. Funny. I mean, obviously, it was to make it clear that that was what happened. Otherwise, yeah. he's just sitting on this clown's lap, and it's like, okay. Um, it was supposed to be um, like blood running down his his lips, which was pretty. I mean, not 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 his lips, but coming out of his lips down his chin, which was really, which was really cool. Little, sexy. Yeah, sexy. Yeah. What am I doing? Um. Mhm. Mhm. I also enjoyed. Well, I, I guess as I said before, kind of the general creativity because it was like they had a lot of ideas. Um, and they, they honestly just like went with all of the ideas, which was really cool. Yeah. I, my, um, I, another favorite part of mine, I mean, not quite as much as that line. I didn't like it as much as that line, but, uh, I still really enjoyed it was the shadow puppets on the wall. Mm-hmm. Um, and when they're like looking at him or at the clown and, and then yeah, he just eats them Yeah, as a dinosaur or whatever. That was, that was pretty neat. It was pretty neat. And, of course, um, <laughs> when uh, um, that one clown rides in on the bike and that one guy smashes it to pieces and he knocks his head off. Oh, yeah. Then, oh, yeah. I, I, I like that part, too. He's like, I'm going to knock your block off. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. And then he knocks his head off and into the yeah. trash, I think. And... Um, I, I, the um, one guy's reaction to that was really funny too, like the um, that one guy who like you think is kind of gonna be the leader, but then that other guy comes out from the background, and he smashes his bike, and this other guy's like, "Oh shit!" and then he just runs. <laughs> yeah, that was That's really good. funny. Um, Clownzilla was pretty hot. That was pretty hot. Yeah, yeah, he's smashing like the ice cream truck or whatever it was. Mm-hmm. I was yeah. like, I was trying to think of how they did that because I'm guessing how they did it was like, um, it was a man in a suit and then they just made a miniaturized ice cream truck. That's what I thought it was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because I, I figured, I mean, it wasn't going to be like some big animatronic or anything like that because that would mm-hmm. just be one, too expensive and two, probably a little bit impractical. So, mm-hmm. but. But on the bright side, um, it was really funny. Yeah. I the I, the the beginning with the uh, was um, like a he's like a farmer I think and his he goes with this dog to investigate the tent, mm-hmm. and and then his dog disappears. <laughs> he's like, "What'd you do to my dog?" <laughs> and then yeah, he gets turned into cotton candy. Or yeah. Did he, just, did he just get vaporized? I don't remember. Um, Let me see. I wrote some stuff down. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, uh, two words. Loved it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, but I also wrote down like the the mat shots, like the, you know, when they were like in the the big top and they were looking at, they were in the big top and they were looking at like the big chamber area. Yeah. With and you know it was like a painting. Mm-hmm. Um, cause you know, I th- didn't they do that in Star Wars as well? Uh, maybe. I don't I think so. Remember. I'm trying to remember. They probably like, did. 
Um, but I like kind of wish they would bring that kind of thing back because it's like it, it doesn't look really realistic, but it looks cool. It's a cool effect, yeah. Um, I think part of that, yeah. I mean, it was mainly just the time that it was used was probably pretty innovative. But yeah, right nowadays, when something looks a little more realistic, they'll go that route instead of the instead of the uh, sort of matte and the mm-hmm. painting or whatever. But but yeah, you're right. I think it was uh, something I hadn't seen in a while because I've seen that before. In, in yeah. movies, of course. It was probably pretty common back then, but mm-hmm. um, it was cool to see that in this movie. Mm-hmm. movie. I, I was right. Star Wars did do it as well. They did, by the way. Mm-hmm. Star so Wars did the, do it as well? The, the original ones. The OG trilogy. Yeah, and it looks like um, Indiana Jones did it with like the, the big warehouse with all the boxes. That was apparently a matte painting as well. In Raiders? I like think so, end? yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I just watched that, so... Mm-hmm. It's cool when they do it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty dope. Um, I also want to before I before I want to talk, talk about that. I wanted to talk about the music. Yeah, I really like the music. They did a good job with that as well. Yeah, that and the the sounds that the clowns made mm-hmm. was very uh, creepy. I think. Yeah, uh, it, it fit very well. I think. Um, as like, opposed to having them, like talking, mm-hmm. or speaking our language. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were kind of yeah. The the song "Killer Clowns" that's in the movie. Yeah. Um, they sent. They asked the band Dickies, um, to make a song for the movie, and so the song actually came out before the movie was finished. So that, so so they put it in the movie and. It, it was pretty good. I, I enjoy the song separately as well. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, what, um, what was the band name again? Dickies. Lil Dickies. One more time. Dickies. Lil right, Dickies. Sorry. You're cutting up. One more time. Dickies. Oh, okay. I wake up and I'm Lil Dickies. <laughs> um, what was the other thing? Did you watch the, uh, the video I put in the description? I should have sent it to you directly, but... Uh, sh- no, I did not. Okay, it, it's fine. Um, is it mouse? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's not. It's okay. not a big deal. I'm sorry. I um, I'm just gonna have to fire you. Okay. Well, jokes on you, cause I don't get paid, bitch. Very true. Very true. Well, at least not for this. Yeah. Yet. True. Also true. <laughs> not yet. Um, no, I don't think we'll be getting any sponsors anytime soon. Just because, like, you need to have a certain amount of plays per episode. Yes. Like, and at we, least four, right? It's at least a thousand. Oh. I was close. Okay. So we're not, we're not, um, we're not very not popular. Quite there yeah. So, if you're listening to this right now, you should, you should share it with a friend, and then have or, them share it with a friend. Or create a thousand different accounts, and then listen to it that way. And yes. that way... Even if it's just one person listening to it, that way we get the sponsors. Or listen to the episode a thousand times. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Each episode a thousand times. Yep. Would it count if you just fast forwarded through it? <laughs> like a thousand times. I or do you have to even... listen to it consecutively? Because if so, I mean, I'll probably just go through and just like <laughs> in, in my spare time and just listen to it a bunch of times. That, I would. I would hate that if I had to do that. Dude, yeah. Listening to my own voice 1,000 times. But Miles, your voice is handsome. My voice is handsome? I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, it is. I'd say so. Right, guys? Okay, Leave a comment yeah. if you think that Miles' voice is handsome. It, my voice is handsome, yep. Yep. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to oh, talk I about with the... text. You got a text? One, someone's probably saying that your voice is handsome. Okay, we, we read okay, it out loud to the said. class. Okay, hold on. No, don't. If it's if it's personal, don't. Well, hold on. Maybe maybe it's not personal enough that I can share it. Okay. I will also check to see if I have any text messages because that's what we're doing apparently. I know it's wild. Very specific. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. Thank you. I um, try. And the other thing I wanted to talk about with the movie was potential sequels. Yeah. Because it was, you know... People have mentioned it a few times, mm-hmm. um, 
and I am thinking we're not going to get one, which kind of sucks. Because it looks like, um, just from a little bit of research I did, that Fox was going to do a, a sequel. Um, but when Disney bought it out, they canceled like a bunch of projects. And this the sequel was apparently one of them. I responded to that um, text, I know it's wild, with not as wild as this dick. And then I said, this is Miles, by the way. <laughs> That's good. Thank, thank <laughs> you. Anyways, but no, you're right. I was looking into that because I think where I was reading that, I thought I read that someone was trying to pick up the rights like last year to try to do a sequel. You're probably mm -hmm. right, we won't get one, but... Maybe, just maybe, you and Sorry, I... What? Oh, what um, was I was just saying that you uh, have chlamydia. Um, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you should probably take that out. Um, <laughs> um, because lots of people could have it. Um, where were we going? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, if, yeah, if no one else makes one, you and I should make a sequel to that. Yes, I would love to. And call it... Killer clowns from inner space. From inside everyone. Everyone just becomes a clown. Yes. Um, I mean, would you... Okay, if you were to make a sequel to this movie, um, do you think you would try and use practical effects to stick with um, the way it was made originally, or would you try and do CG? Um... May, uh, might be a mix of both, honestly. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I would definitely try to include practical effects where possible to keep it original to the, um, you know, the, well, yeah, kind of to pay homage to the original uh, in the time that it was made. Because, I mean, I love movies like that, watching old movies and seeing what they did to be creative the time that mm -hmm. they had. Whereas nowadays, you just have to take some time and as long as you've got a good sort of editing program and you shot it well enough, you can just you can kind of make a lot of different things out of it. Now, yeah. whether it looks fake or not depends on, I think, the uh, abilities of the editor and the uh, cinematographer. But you know, if 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 we were to, I mean, if, you know, if we were to do it like now, like in our current situation with like a low budget, then obviously practical effects would be more practical. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Probably a mix of both. I would say. Yeah, I mean, the original movie was, you know, pretty low budget. I mean, not totally low budget because it had, like, a $2 million budget, but um, for all, all the effects, you could kind of tell. Yeah. They didn't have a lot of funding at the time. No. Um, but, no, it looks like we're not going to get a sequel. But sci-fi, the, the, the TV channel may pick up may pick it up and do a TV series but we yeah. or um, or make their own movie but we have no idea so there's nothing that we will know at this time as of as of 2019 right now as of 2019 yeah. that's this year that is what maybe i don't know you don't know no shit dude oh shit he would go again he would go again <laughs> Um, do you have anything else? Um, at this time, no. <laughs> it sounded like you farted. I know it's the chair. My chair is so squeaky right now. <laughs> get some. What is it? Get some WD forty. Yeah. Squirt some of that shit on the chair, just all over it. <laughs> it'll it'll stop squirt squirt squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it'll stop squirting. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, it's not squeaking anymore. But yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. I have not. I have nothing else. But you know, I really like the movie. Um. I, I would love to watch more of that type of B-movie because it's 
you know, it shows the the powers that the people can do. Has. Oh yeah, that too. That, pe that people can make, you know, can do with uh, low budget, and you know, it speaks well to us. It does. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> we know what it means. By we, I mean you. I guess. Yep. Okay. Um, I have a moving... question. What? How come we never ask Craig anything? Oh, yeah. No one knows who Craig is. Oh, that's he's true. The, he's the person listening in. On yes, he records us. Yeah. He's, he's the, big brother. He's the bot we use through for Discord, but... Um, Craig doesn't really talk at all because he's a robot. He's like Groot in a way in that he only knows two words. And no, those recording. are now and recording. Yeah. Yeah. And you're supposed to understand everything he means from those two words. Yep. Just he like sounds Groot. a lot like uh, James Spader, too, mm -hmm. who is the voice of Ultron. And yes. Robert California, a.k.a. the fucking Lizard King. <laughs> so, I love that. More That's like, not like one of my favorite like... parts of the office. <laughs> More like Lizard Queen. Lizard. Queen. Yes, Queen. Yes, Queen. Okay. That's so well. Don't bleep his name out, too. Sorry. Uh, okay. <laughs> I keep blurting out people's names, and I just need to stop doing that. Yeah, and giving me more work. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. Do you um, need to blur, blur out your name, too? Yeah, I, I will. <laughs> just blurt out both of our names for this entire episode. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, um, okay, what else did you have to talk about, Miles? Um, I want to try something new this week. Okay. Um. Well, what? Well, as long as we don't get hurt doing it. I'm yeah, we won't try anything. We will not get hurt. Um, okay. All right. A new portion of the podcast. Uh, I guess every once in a while, when we feel like it. Mm -hmm. Um. We're going to answer a very simple question. Okay. Um, that I hope you can answer because I probably should have asked you to get something ready for it, but I did not. So I'm putting you – not not you. I'll just fucking ask you, Jesus Christ. Yeah, do it. Um, ask me. So what music are we listening to right now? Like not right now, but like in the past week or two. When you say we, do you mean like us as an entire culture or do you mean us – like you and me. Like you and me. Okay. I was going to say, because, I mean, you can just look at the top 100 hits on no. Spotify. <laughs> I don't know. No. Um, I meant, yes. like, As of music right now, that you're currently listening to, like, you know. I'm listening to a lot of old stuff right now. Uh, I've been listening to some Elton John, and then I've been listening to uh, Rolling Stones, and I've also been listening to uh, Beach Boys. So I've been listening to some older kind of classics, uh, but you know I've I'm, you know I kind of listen to a mix of stuff too. Um, mm -hmm. Post Malone's most recent album was one that I've been had been listening to recently. Which which album? Uh, uh, Hollywood bleeding. Hollywood bleeding. I might Hollywood's have bleeding. checked that one out. It's good. Have, it's... I've never really listened to Post Malone, but yeah, just pre Malone. Yeah. Or, uh, or, or, um, Postman Malone. Postman Malone. <laughs> yeah, Postman. Um, postman Malone. The Postman Malone only means twice. Or, no, once. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the saying is. I don't know either. Uh, but yeah, it's a good album. It's, it's cool because it's got, um, Ozzy Osbourne of all people in there. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Have you not heard people talking about that? Then again, you probably don't pay attention to it, no. Uh, but, yeah, he's, he's in there, so... Okay, That's I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually things. write that one down right now. Just include it in the description, as if people haven't already heard it. Well, yeah, no, I was gonna, I was gonna include stuff. Yeah, that one's called mind. that one's called "Take What You Want," and it's uh, when my brother told me, uh, "Oh shit, you should blur his name out too." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, uh, my brother told me that Ozzy would be in that. I I thought it made sense because I mean, his sound is cohesive enough with uh, Post Malone's sort of style and vibe that it, mm -hmm. I figured it would kind of, they'd collaborate pretty well. And it did. It's a great song, I think. Um, but, and then there's some other one, good ones on there, too, that I really enjoyed. But uh, other than that, in terms of music, I mean, 
pretty much all that I've already mentioned. There's I've been listening to the um one of the biggest movies ever. Uh oh, uh Forrest Gump. I've been listening to that soundtrack <laughs> quite a bit. Um which has a lot of old ones on there too. Uh including some Simon and Garfunkel. Um one of my favorite spy man I'd never heard of before. His name's Clarence Frogman in quotation marks. Uh Sounds Henry. Familiar. And Henry, yeah, he uh, he had a good song on there called "I Don't Know Why, But I Do." Anyways, yeah, so just kind of oldies right now. Hmm. I mean, cool. I like to listen to a lot of different things, but at this point, I you know I just kind of go through uh you know you you go through phases, I think. Oh yeah, definitely. In, in your life, where you just like, oh, I really want to jam to this right now, or I really want to jam to this right hmm. now. And what's really cool is like when you're listening to like a song you used to listen to, and it like makes you think back to that time, <laughs> which mm-hmm. we kind of talked on a little bit, I think. Last week or two weeks ago, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So no, I, I, I I totally get that. Yeah. On the flippity flop, what about you, Miles? What are we listening to? Um. Recently, I okay. A little bit of a backstory. I used to watch this old YouTube channel called Future Shorts, and Future it's like shorts. A, Future Shorts. I'll link okay. it in this li- li- link it in the description, but um. They have, uh, it's mostly just like international short films, essentially. Um, okay. So there was yeah. a few that I liked. There was like a paintball one that was pretty cool. There's a black hole one where a guy's like in an office and he accidentally prints a black hole onto a piece of paper. Wow. Pretty cool. Um, that's pretty but, awesome. Uh, but one that I enjoyed um, that's like for mature audiences that I watched when I was younger <laughs> was called um, I Love Death. And um, at the time, I think I liked the song, but I never really li- looked into it. And so recently, I was like, oh, I'm going to rewatch these short films. And so I rewatched it. And so I found the song, and it's part of an album called Hi Fi High Lights Down Low, and it's by Lodger. Hmm. So I've been listening to the album recently a lot. And it's, it's like, um, it's similar to um, Foo Fighters. Yeah, okay. And I, I only know like one album by Foo Fighters, which is Color and the Shape, but Yeah. Uh, okay. I do like I I started listening to Lodger, which is, you know, a pretty good band. I think they haven't made yeah. a lot of music recently, but they're still pretty good. But um, they're still pretty hot, yeah. They're still pretty flaring. Um flaring. Yeah. That was kind of a reference to the next album I was gonna talk about. Uh which is an E P called Solar Flare. Which was just Flare. just released by Kill Bill and Rav. Yeah. Okay. Which is pretty good. Um, besides that, I mean, the past few weeks I've been listening to my favorite album by Two Chains, <laughs> which yeah. is based on a true story. Okay. I used to listen to that when I was like nine, like a lot. Yeah. Um, and then I started listening to it again, and so it kind of brings me, again, as you said, brings me back to that time. Yeah. That's um, pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much all I've been listening to. That's cool, though. That's, yeah. Um, I forgot a little bit about Kill Bill and Rav in particular. But no, that's, yeah, that's cool. Link those, because I'll definitely check those out, too. Um, mm. Also, uh, you pronounced it wrong. It's not called an album. It's called Anal Bum. Anal Bum? You remember that? I don't. That's from uh, uh, Celebrity Jeopardy. Oh. <laughs> That's where um, uh, Sean Connery, <laughs> or at least the character. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like the category is like an album cover, and it's, he says like Anal Bum cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's like my favorite SNL sketch. It's so I, I loved it so much when you showed that to me, because like I didn't know what you were, I was ta- what you were talking about. Like I didn't know that what you were referencing yeah. when you first I think we're talking about it. And then after I looked mm-hmm. it up, I was like, okay, this is really Fam- funny. Famous titties for four hundred. <laughs> famous. T- <laughs> it's it's famous titles. <laughs> um, yeah. I was also gonna say. Like tits now. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, with with the whole like uh, listening to music and it take takes you back. Um, sometimes uh, I'll listen to an album like the same album 
over a month, like a whole month, I'll just l listen to the same album. And so like that month be kind of comes connected. Like that time of my life becomes connected to that album. Yeah. Um, I, I remember last year it was like October. Um, and I was listening to a, a band, well, a, like a small rock band or whatever you want to call it called Missio. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. um, they, it was like very dark songs, I would say not, not dark, but, um, they had tones that would resonate with me, I guess that sounds very cliche, but, um, it just felt right to listen to in October for some reason. Yeah. Um, so if you're, you know, sitting there and, and it's October still, check out Missio because... Wait, it's October? Yeah, dude, it's October. Oh. It's, today is the 11th. Wait a minute, the 11th? The 11th of October. Oh my gosh, that means, that means that in three months, it's going to be my birthday. You know what else? What? It's going to be my birthday. On the eleventh? No, a day before, because I'm older oh. than you. You're older than me. Fuck. You little bitch. Son of a muffin. <laughs> that means yeah. you'll be able to get alcohol a whole day before I will. Not next year, though. <laughs> no, but I mean the, the year after. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we just revealed our age. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to bleed out this entire sequence. <laughs> <laughs> Do you care? No. Okay. Good. Because I wasn't, I wasn't gonna you bother. Care? Wow, wow, Miles! I can't believe you weren't <laughs> gonna bother. Um, well, what the fuck? Oh yeah, no, we're, <laughs> not, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about the birthday thing. No, um, no, so not yet. Why don't we talk about? Wait, do you do you bring anything to talk about? Porsche's coming out with a flying car. What? Porsche's trying to come out with a flying car. They're partnering really? with. Uh, I I don't I I'm I'm gonna sound super stupid because I feel like this is a bigger thing. But Porsche and is it Boeing or Boeing? Uh, it's B O E I N G. <laughs> um, B O E. Yeah, I feel, I've heard that before. I just I'm stupid and don't know how it's pronounced. But Fuck they're that, partnering man. to develop a flying electric car. That's pretty cool. I just saw that randomly and I was like, okay, that's pretty dope. Once again, I established my witness by saying dope. Um, Dope. A statement from the company say the concept car will be a fully electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. So like it rises up. <laughs> like this. Okay. Vertical? Wait, yeah. hold on. So like, you know, up, up, I I think that means I I don't know. I'm not. Wait, I'm not. A, I wonder if I'm, it's I'm like... not a carpenter, but um, it Should sounds like because <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming because you know planes will have to sort of take off and then land on oh, the runway where they go yeah. sort of horizontally at first and sort of make an incline. I'm assuming okay. they mean like they just straight go straight up. As opposed to having to take off. I'm looking um, at like a mock-up of it, and it looks really stupid. It does look kind of stupid. But either way, flying cars does sound pretty dope. Yeah. Again, dope. Um, but the future's here, boys. Yeah. It's about uh, four years too late, according to Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. uh, but and same with self-driving cars. That too. We don't all have them. Or hydratable pizzas. Or literally anything from that movie. Exactly. Because I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. So, f flying cars. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I mean, just like just like Teslas and like self-driving cars, we're not going to get them for like probably another hundred years. For, for everyone to have one is what I'm saying. Right. But if we steal one, we do get to drive it for just a little bit until the cops catch us. And that is enough for a lifetime. True. I guess it's like, you know, every single invention, um, like what was the, the first like VHS uh, players were like crazy expensive. I thought that was but a then... juice. What? Oh, that's V8. Sorry. Yeah. VHS. V or crit H. I'm going to fucking cut S. you. And it's Halloween. I, I can do that. I mean, it's not Halloween yet, but it's <laughs> yeah. that time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like sharpening a knife, like, finally, I can stab Henry again. <laughs> um, what the fuck was I saying? 
you were talking about giving birth. Um, it was really hard when I when I gave <laughs> birth. Uh, especially because <laughs> we no one had no idea what to do. <laughs> Where does it come out of? No, seriously, what the fuck was I talking about? We were talking about uh, Halloween, I think, and no, before that, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> okay, it's like Snapchat. I forget what we're talking about. I don't know what that's like. Oh, Snapchat. It's a. It's um. Like I don't want to hear about it. App. Shut the fuck up. Anyways, um. Um, so you can chat with snaps. Okay. Well, whatever we were talking about before, it doesn't matter now because... We were talking okay, about flying have... cars, I guess. Yeah. And I don't, uh... I don't remember. And then we were talking oh, oh, about... Oh, the invention of the VHS. That's what I was talking about. Yes. Yes. Um, and, and then we started talking about Halloween and, you... and then giving birth. And then you bothered me. <laughs> yes. Okay, Miles, so VHS. I always oh bother God. you. Stop yes. talking. <laughs> The VHS um, was, like, crazy expensive, and so then, like, a cheaper version came out. So that's how I imagine, hopefully, will happen with self-driving cars and, you know, flying cars. The cheaper version, so everyone can ma mass, mass, mass purchase it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mass, 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 mass. Yes. Um, do you got something else, or...? Um, maybe. What is it? Oh, I don't know. That's why I said maybe. That's good. That's good. I don't have anything. Uh, go ahead, Mal. Okay. Okay. Um, it's, Wait. It's okay. Go ahead. <sighs> okay. So it's the part of the podcast where we ask questions. Okay. What, what kind is of life? What is life? Okay. What is what is the meaning of everything? Yeah, yeah. What is the meaning of life? I don't know. I don't know. It's a board game, so like I don't know. I guess it's to have fun, maybe. Does it does it even have a meaning if it's if it's just a board game? It's you know, that's the meaning. Maybe. Like to play a game because you're bored. Yeah. Is that why they call it board game? Or Probably. is it because there's a board that you play on? That's probably what it is. Maybe. Either way. Don't ask me. I'm not a architect. True, true. Okay. Uh, for real, though, uh, this is a question we might just skip over because it's a really weird question. Oh, and also, <clears throat> I was thinking about it, and if anyone has any questions they want to ask us, post them in the oh, comments because we'll answer yes. them. Please, maybe, if they're not too personal. Ask us. Yeah, don't ask us personal questions. Just ask Miles personal questions. If it's please. something that's not personal, then ask all of us. Like, by all of us, I mean the both of us. <laughs> like, like personally, if you ask me what, um, what type of, no, put put your headphones back on. Don't stop. Don't listen. Like, if you ask what kind of porn I listen to or some, I mean, watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I figured. Okay, Connor, listen to that question. Cool. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to bleep her name out. <laughs> Good one, Henry. No, it's not, Miles. How dare you? Okay, for real though. Uh, right, the question. question. Okay, we, we, we might skip this one because it's. Just ask it. Who was the last person who made you cry and why? Okay. Um, it was 1942. Um, Baseball yeah. was was becoming a, a really incredible sport. <laughs> I don't know. Um. Who was the last person to make me cry? Um, and why? And why? These are, again, these are like questions to ask your, I'm guessing, female best friend, so. Your female best friend. Aw, oh, Miles, I'm your female best friend. You are. That's really disappointing. Um, well, let's see. Um... I'm trying to think. Who was the last person to make me cry? Um, let's see. <laughs> it was probably you. Really? Like, I was laughing so much that I was crying tears of pure joy. Well, that's good. And that's probably what it was. I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's, like, a movie I've watched recently. Because then I could just say that an actor made me cry with their performance. Oh, yeah. I mean, let's just say... Too. 
Let's just say that and call it good. Okay. Well, I, what, who do you got, Mouse? Your mom. <gasps> oh my gosh. She makes me cry too, so I understand. It's a running Love joke, mom. apparently, of this podcast. Is, is your mom jokes? Yeah. I don't feel yeah. like... Have we said it that much? Like I have. Almost every oh. podcast, I've made a your mom joke. Well, you just said it twice now, so you're going to have to bleep her name out. Okay, like, how many times you've asked me to do that, I'm not going to do it. You you should, though. It would be so funny. Maybe you should put in the work then, you big bitch. You know what, Miles? I'm allergic to work ethic. So, joke's on you. Joke's on your mom. Oh my gosh. Again, Miles. <laughs> Bleep her name out. <laughs> I like how you kind of bleeped yourself there. Yeah, that's the joke. Okay. So, what um, other questions do you have for me, Miles? I have uh, probably a question that we both can answer pretty easily. Ask it. <clears throat> Where do you hope to be five years from now? Ten? Fifteen? <laughs> I, wonder if the, I wonder if that means... 30. Where do you hope to be five years from now? Do you hope to be ten years old or fifteen years old? <laughs> <laughs> I want to reverse age. Uh, that's a good question. Um, yeah. Five years from now, I want to be in my flying Porsche... Porsche. Sorry, Grandpa. Um... He always wanted me to call it a Porsche because that's apparently what it's supposed to be. Because it yeah. is. It's a, it's a Porsche. It's not a Porsche. Um, let's see. You and I are living in our private mansions because mansions aren't <laughs> private. Um, <laughs> with an with underground tunnel connecting the two of them. <laughs> exactly. And then <laughs> and you and I can put on our Batman costumes. Um, what? All right, we have Batman costumes because we have mansions. Or, or you can put on the Bane costume and tell me that you're gonna crush my bat spine. <laughs> um, I still think we could fi fi finally make our Batman parody film. I thought you were gonna say fuck. I was like, what? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we could finally fuck. Thank God. <laughs> I've been waiting so long. Um, <laughs> no, we. Uh, yeah, so we're chilling in our mansions. And we're making movies and shit, dude. Doing it how we do. This is probably in ten years, because in five years, I just don't think that's possible. Um, no, but add, add five years, and we'll definitely be rolling definitely in have it. it. That's plenty of time, Miles. Yeah, yeah. actually it is. Make a movie a year, essentially. Starface? I mean, come on. If Tony Montana can do it, then I can. I guess. Yeah. So, yes. Except not as much cocaine. But still Why fun. not? Why not? <laughs> because, Miles, all right? My, uh... I want a Mount Everest-sized uh, mountain of cocaine. <laughs> yes. The cocaine Miles, is... Miles. What? My best friend died of cocaine. Like, you... Who? he overdosed. Who? You don't, know, you don't know him. He goes to another school. Or he did, this, before he died. A, is this a joke, or are you serious? I'm dead serious, Miles, in the fact that I'm joking. Dude, don't joke about that. Why? Why? Because I thought you were being serious. No, of course not. <laughs> no, don't I mean, worry. It, I would have probably told you if that was been. the case. Yeah, you probably also, wouldn't I have mean, said it at all. Yeah, 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 I wouldn't. Because clearly I am the person <laughs> who would know someone that uses cocaine. <laughs> you might. I don't know. No, no way. I'm too much of a square... I just I'm imagine never around. Um, good, good one, dude. But I imagine wasn't it like SpongeBob when he like drew a square? I thought he drew a square at, at some point. It was like, don't SpongeBob be a square. Did? Maybe he's like, don't be a square. Plankton is like talking about SpongeBob once, and he's like, he's like, look at him. He's square. The shape <laughs> of evil. It's <laughs> good. Yeah. Um. It's funny. For was that? Did you answer the question? I did answer the question. We're chilling in our mansions and we're making movies and shit. Whether in Cali or Florida or wherever. Or Trally. Toronto. Or... Who knows? Sure. Yeah. It's pretty much the same for me, dog. But you've got a farm, right? Yeah. That's a farm for me, dog. <laughs> that's going to be a farm for me, dog. <laughs> a farm added on to the mansion. Yeah. 
yeah. when pigs in a blanket really means wrapping your pet pigs in a blanket. It's going to be a farm for me, dog. <laughs> That's good, dude. That's funny. Thank you. I came up with that on my own. I could tell. Really? Because it's bad. Because it's shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think one more question. I don't have and an answer. Then, and then we'll move on to something else. Okay. If if money was no object, what would you buy? Money. More money? Yes. Really? Yeah. You just you, you just exchanged your money with <laughs> exchange your money with different money. Can I can I buy twenty dollars with this twenty dollar bill? <laughs> um I'd buy probably a red camera. Those Why not? are fucking expensive. Why not a blue one? Because blue is sadness. You know when someone says I'm blue, dabba dee dabba dee. Dabba dee dabba dee. Yabba dabba doo. Yabba dabba doo. Fred Flintstone. <laughs> did you hear that? Yeah. What? No, I'm kidding. I didn't. What did you say? Nothing. nothing, nothing. What did you say? <laughs> you Never know, mind. I'll, I'll hear it in the recording, Miles. You won't. Why not? Not if I censor it out. You know what? You won't, though. Do what you won't, no balls. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were we saying? Oh, <laughs> the, re- well, the red camera. Red yeah, because I was talking about blue, da ba da ba da ya ba da ba Um, Seriously, though, if, 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 he, uh, if he smoked a joint, he'd be Fred Flintstone. Which would be really funny, by the way. Anyway, the a red way, camera is yeah. expensive as fuck. Like yeah, it's I'm like sure. eighty thousand, depending Jesus. on which one you get. Like it's expensive. Would you? Wouldn't you Not rather to mention just rent, accessories. Wouldn't you rather just rent it then? At that point? No, just, I own my own freaking camera, dude. <clears throat> if money was no object, you would buy a red camera. <laughs> Probably, and uh, along with other film equipment too. Yeah, just get, uh, dude. If money was no object, we just start our own production company. Exactly, and yeah, we get all our all the stuff we want. Cool sound recording studio, mm-hmm. um, for like ADR and stuff like that. We get uh, we get some uh, stages and things like that, and and uh, yeah. So so if you're listening to this podcast and you're like, wow, I've got money to spend, uh, just spend and, it on us, and you're rich as fuck, yeah, spend it on us. Yes. We we deserve it, all right, because we asked you for it. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. By the way, we do have a. I haven't like mentioned it because it's not that important, but we do have a Kofi link. Really? Yeah. Miles, it's pronounced um, coffee. I think I, I think it's coffee. I don't know. No, I don't know. It lo- it looks Are like we Kofi, talking though. about the the drink. No, no, it's similar to Patreon, but you don't have to pay money because Patreon is. A person like the people who have pages on pa- Patreon, they have to pay like a monthly thing to get paid monthly by patrons. But with Kofi, there's like a gold membership, which is like Patreon. But then there's like a through free me- membership, which is um, people can go to the website and they can you know pay for the price of a coffee, and th- and that's why it's called coffee. Oh, how's it spelled? K O dash F I. Okay, so Kofi. I- yeah, I haven't like fixed the page up or anything, um, but you know, I just figured I'd mention that real quick and then never mention it again because it's not that big of a deal. Okay. If, but if you want to help this podcast, I you do. Know, donate to Kofi. H- Henry, you can't. You don't want to help this podcast. You're a part of it. Fuck. You're just help on your own. Well, shit. Yeah. Okay. Moving on from that. Moving on. Um, what was the thing we were? Oh yeah, we finished the question. We're done with that. So now, time for more questions. Yes, but in a different format. In Actrivia. Dude, you gotta let me say it. I'm the one who's. Oh, sorry. Um, take it back. I take it back. Henry, I'm going to fire you if you ever try and do something like that again. Okay. (laughs) Actrivia. Uh, that was like the goofiest laugh I've, I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Um, okay, let's see Start, here. I mean, you can you can do the actual goofy laugh too. I could, but I won't. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Okay. Uh, ready. Uh, th- this week we're doing a new a new thing. It's called Act Trivia. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Here we go again. Shit. Oh, shit. Um, uh, and this week... Um, hold on. Fuck. Uh, you're going to get... Uh, let's see. If you win, you get... Let me look around my room. Find something funny. Um, hmm. An empty pickle jar with water in it. I guess it's not a- empty. You can put some tissues in it. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. I literally, like, as I was saying the phrase pickle jar, I was like, wait, I already made that joke. Yeah. Um, no. How about... Shit, man. Did you look downstairs? My room isn't funny. Oh, downstairs? Um, yeah. I, I've got nothing in my diaper, so. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, so what, we're, what? what about the diaper itself? The diaper itself? Oh, you want my used <laughs> diaper? <laughs> oh, shit. Here we it's, go one of the, it's one of those, like, classic ones where you have to, like, wash it. And then you have to reuse it with like it's a, a clo- thing. Clo- yes. Yeah, have oh, you ever I seen that before? I never have. Oh my god. Okay. So like you know in old old cartoons when it when they they had diapers that just had a clothespin in it. Yeah. That's what that is. It's it's pr- pretty much just a cloth, and you have to wash it every time it's used. Okay. And, you ha- and how you put it around, you know, the baby is with a clothespin. Right. But then you know they came out with. Um, uh, throw um, diapers that you just throw out when you're done with them. Oh, I thought you were going to say throw up. Like you, you <laughs> eat them and then you vomit them. Yeah, no, you vomit into the diaper. <laughs> or no, no, wait. <laughs> and wait. then eat it. It's like a Bane mask for your face. That there, there, There's a new invention for um, for drunk wait, people. Th- wait, it's like a Bane mask for your face? That's just a Bane mask. <laughs> but for vomit. Oh, okay. A Bane mask for vomit, sorry. <laughs> Which would be really gross because the vomit's like inches away from your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you so just like, you take the you take the diaper <laughs> off your face and it's just covered in vomit. The fuck are we talking about? Okay, okay, oh you gosh. get you get my used diaper. All right, let's all just right, start. I'll take that. Cool. All right, I have um, six questions. All right. Uh, four of which are about the film Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Okay. Um, and I also, have, before I start, I have a little fact that I couldn't work into a question, but I thought was really interesting. Okay. So I'm just going to say it now. Say it. That I probably should have said earlier with the review portion, but I did not. <laughs> Vampire. Um, so, you know when Debbie... Uh, the female protagonist takes a shower. Yeah. Um, it She's lasts. Wet. And naked. Um, <laughs> and it it sure. lasts twenty minutes of screen time. Okay. So you know, like stuff happens in between the shots of her being in the shower. Mhm. Which potentially could have been hours of time. So that means that Debbie took the longest shower in cinema. Oh my gosh. Because it took, like, hours for everyone, like, you know, they're getting chased by clowns and stuff. A bunch of stuff happens. They're driving around town. And all this time, she's just taking a shower. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) It's the longest shower ever. It's the longest shower ever, dude. It's so... I just just thought it was funny and and worth mentioning. Um, What you got? All right. First question. I worded it in a really weird way, so I'm going to try and get through it. Um, what was the first day of recording the music score in 1987? See, I I worded it in such a weird way. In 1987, they recorded the music score, all right? So -hmm. what was the first day of recording? And it's, you know, it's a little bit, like, if you really think about it, it's, I'll give you a hint, it's a holiday. It's a holiday? Yeah. October 31st. Correct. Wait, really? Oh, okay, cool. Yes. See, I, I was like, you got to get this one. It's easy, boy. It's easy money. 
All right. Number two. Who played King Clown, or as it's, um, I think, named in the movie or whatever, Clownzilla from The Crew? From The Crew? Oh, Yeah, oh, so I, it was a person uh, from The Crew. Yeah. Oh, I, I know this one, too. It was, um, his name was, uh, uh, was it Charles something? Uh, he was, uh, Charles, his last name. Chiodo? Chiodo, yeah, that guy. Yeah, it was Charles Chiodo, brother to the director, who... That's right, Charles, yeah, because his last Charles name was... Charles was also a writer as well. I mean, oh, he was a writer for it? Okay. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's a three-brother... Yeah, because um, the, the production... Thing. Uh, the, wasn't the production company like the Chode Brothers or something? The Chode Brothers? <laughs> no? Yeah, no, you got it right, the Chode Brothers. <laughs> All right, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> we got a couple minutes, but then I gotta go. Okay, okay. Um, what did Charles Chiodo cover the inflatable dog with to prevent it from popping? Oh, um... Uh... I don't know. Uh, latex. Correct. Wait, really? Oh, okay. Cool. Yes, very good job. Um, Okay. What was the most expensive prop in the film that actually worked? That actually worked? Yeah, Ooh, I like don't know. it it kind of did what it was supposed to. Um Um I'm trying to think of everything that was in there. Um, it was something used by the clowns, by the way. Right. Um, Excuse me. Was it... Um, uh, you're saying, wait, was it like what? Um, like effect? Special effect? Or like practical it effect? Was a pr it was an actual prop. It was an actual that, prop. Yeah, that was used in the film that actually, you know, did its job. Um, kind of. Is it... Um... Uh, I'm trying to remember everything that was used. Um... I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Uh, okay. Go ahead. It was the popcorn gun. It was the popcorn gun? Okay. Yeah, it cost $7,000 oh alone. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. All right, next question. Um, let's see what we have here. A journalist? Okay, wait, hold on. So these are log lines. The last two questions are log lines. Oh, I love these questions. I bet you do. I do. Do you? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. Um... First one, uh, a journalist must investigate a mysterious videotape which seems to cause the death of anyone one week to the day after they the do ring. it. Perfect. I figured you would get that. That's an easy question. That one's relatively... Is the next one harder? Maybe. I don't know if you've seen it or not. It's a... Uh... Let's find out. Yeah. Okay. It's it's not a movie. I'll tell you that. Oh. Okay. Um, flashing between past and present, a fractured family confronts haunting memories of their old home... And the terrifying events that drove them from it. Ooh, okay. Um, so you said it's not a movie, so is it like a TV show? Then? Maybe, yeah. Okay, then yeah. that's a yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I can give you one more hint. Um, if you need it. Go ahead. It is on Netflix. It is on Netflix, okay. Alright, I'm gonna jump on Netflix real quick, just a second. Uh, <laughs> um, let me see. I can read it again if you need. No, it's okay, I got it. I just gotta think. I bet think you thinking is just you looking up. 
No. Yeah, yeah right. Um, <laughs> so it's... Um, so it's definitely not The Office. Definitely not The <laughs> Office. Um, no, let me see. I don't think I've seen it. So, I don't know. Okay. Um, what you got? You want me to give you the answer? Go ahead. It is The Haunting of Hill House. Haunting of Hill House. Okay. You ha- have I have you heard of seen that. this one? I-, I have never seen it, though. Oh, wow. I would actually recommend you watch this one, even if it's just, like, outside of the podcast, you know, mm-hmm. or something. Because I actually did enjoy this one. Mm-hmm. I think there's, like, one or two episodes that stand out from the rest, but... Besides that, it's it's pretty good. Um, so, like, two that are kind of bad, you mean? No, two that two that are better than the rest. I better would say than, okay. one or two. I don't I don't remember, but, but the rest of it's pretty good too. Okay. Yeah, and they're I think they're coming out with another season. It's going to be like a different family, a different story. It's going to be kind of like an anthology series, I guess. Okay. I'm uncertain though, so I don't know. Gotcha. Okay, so you got that last one wrong. But you got all the rest right, so you win the prize, dude. You win. You win my full diaper. Yeah. My diaper that's I'm, full. I'm going to put it up on my wall. Staple it? Yeah. Or no, hammer it so that it bothers your brother. Exactly. Or I could give it to him to wear the hat. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. Disgusting. Um. Oh, wow, dude, good job. That was really close to being a full, like, getting them all right. I know. I came so close. It has yet to happen for you, but last week it happened to me. Yes, it did happen to you. Beware. Somehow. It could happen to me, too. Mm-hmm. It happened to anyone. Yes. <laughs> are you, uh... Are you ready for your part? I believe that... Because we finished at trivia. Okay. Yes. Congrats on at trivia, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait yeah. to, you know, receive your diaper. Um, mm-hmm. I think that's going to be all kinds of special. So. <laughs> so, my part now is telling you all what we are watching next week, which is a uh, classic that I've never actually seen. Uh... And that is, drum roll please. No, okay. Um, all right. Well, it's a nineteen eighty. Absolute silence. It's I a nineteen eighty four film. It's called Children of the Corn. Okay. Yep. And okay. Uh, it's. I've heard it's not that good, but. Uh um, yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna. I well, we should, well, we'll watch yeah, it anyway. Because I okay. feel like we need to watch something like that where we can just roast. Like a movie that's just really awful. Um, yeah, I have seen this one. Okay. I'll I'll give my opinion next week on the podcast, Sweetie. next episode. Um, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I I kind of can't wait though, cause I'm glad you 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 haven't seen it, so it'll be a first time yeah. new for you. Like I mean, I've seen very very brief glimpses, just in like watching videos and. Things like that, but uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I've, I've never seen it before. So, yeah. where can people watch that? Henry? Where can people watch that? You ask. Oh, easy. Yeah, people can watch that on Tubi. It is on Tubi. Okay, Tubi. So. Cool. Yeah. Which nice. is free. Mhm. So. Tubi is free, but not to be is expensive. Unfree. Un- unfree free <laughs> perfect exactly um all right so we're watching show another corn um yep i guess that wraps it up for episode nine yeah that's the episode we're on um wraps it up for episode nine yep um you can listen to this podcast on such platforms as Anchor, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Castbox, Google Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Podbean, Radio Public, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn, and YouTube. Wow. That's a lot. That, yeah, that is a lot. Uh, although my favorite is YouTube just because it's like 
you get the visuals and you yes. get the audio. That's just how I like it. That's that's just how I am. Yep. But, you know, if you're one of those people who don't really need to see anything and just listen, well, it's available on those other things as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think there was... I don't think there was anything else I needed to say. Uh, if you want to be a guest on the podcast, comment, send us a message... Call or us. Don't forget to send us any questions you want us to answer, as long as and, they're and not questions. personal for me, or yeah. they are personal for Miles. Mm-hmm. Right, Miles? Yes, please. Yes, I want personal questions. I want to give my secrets out on the internet and let everyone know who I am. Exactly. Um, but yeah, please, put those questions in. Uh, share this podcast with people, because... I think I want to I want to up the ante and maybe people will like this podcast besides just friends and family. Yes. Me too. Cuz it's a good podcast. It's like the best podcast ever. Yes, good. I was glad you didn't say anything else cuz that's <laughs> that's what I that's what I put in the script for you to say, Henry. Oh shit. And you said it. You would go so. again. <laughs> uh Okay, well, nice. thanks for listening, um, Henry. Why don't you, uh, why don't you give a, uh, take us home? Oh, 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 okay. Get in the car, Miles. Let's go. talking about sorry okay uh yeah anyways like he said thanks for listening guys and uh we'll talk to you next week uh when we after we watch uh children of the corn so we will see you then bye